Hey guys, so today I wanted to do a review slash first impressions type of video on the new Wet n Wild Coverall Foundation, which I saw this in the store the other day and I was like, oh, I've never seen that before. So I picked it up and I went on YouTube to kind of check out the reviews and stuff and there wasn't really all that many. So when I asked you guys on Facebook if you wanted me to do this review, you guys all said yes. I had like over 150 likes on that, so I decided to do it. Now, um, I'm wearing it right now, which I'm going to talk about a little bit more in a second, um, but basically it just looks like this. It's in a little squeeze bottle, which the packaging is okay. It's um, kind of a cheaper packaging, of course, um, but that's going to kind of cut the price down a little bit. Um, and it's also the squeeze tube, which I will tell you guys, I'm already disliking the squeeze tube because I've only used this one time and it's already getting all over the top. So as you can tell, it's just a little bit messy and I'm not really sure why that is, but yeah, I don't know. I guess you could wipe it off with a tissue and it's no biggie, but. But it's also really nice because it is a squeeze tube, so the bacteria isn't gonna go inside. It's not gonna contaminate the product, which is good. So that's really good because it's kind of hard to find like pumps on drugstore foundations and things like that. So this is really good for that reason if you have acne prone skin and whatnot. So, so I got the color 116 Fair Light and I'm usually the second lightest shade in most foundations. And so I got that in this and it seems to match my skin pretty well. And what this says it does is it's an all day wear foundation, which who doesn't want an all day wear foundation? Uh, medium to full coverage, which is nice. I like medium to full coverage foundations usually. Lightweight satin matte finish, which that's probably my favorite finish in a foundation is like a satin matte. And then it has Visibrite Complex, which reduces the appearance of wrinkles and rejuvenates skin. So it sounds like a pretty cool foundation. So let's go ahead and see if it does what it says. So to apply this foundation, I'm going to be using the Sigmax Flat Top Brush, which is my favorite foundation brush to use. So this is what I always apply my foundation with. So as you can tell, it's a very thick formula. It does not drip at all. It's almost like a cream type formula, which I find with formulas like this, um, they tend to be a little bit more difficult to blend out, but they tend to be heavier coverage. And to me, they tend to last a little bit longer, but that's just my experience. I may be wrong with this one. I don't know. And it smells a little bit like alcohol, like rubbing alcohol. So I'm just going to put it on my brush. So it actually blends out fairly easy. It's a little bit streaky, so I kind of feel like I have to work it into my skin. And I'm also noticing that it's a kind of a pinky undertone. So if you have pretty olive skin, this may not work super well for you. I'm kind of neutral. I'm kind of right in the middle when it comes to skin tone, but this definitely has a pink undertone. And the other thing I noticed about this foundation is it doesn't come in a lot of dark shades, and it only comes in maybe about seven shades. The color selection isn't the greatest, but this is definitely a pink undertone. It doesn't really show in the camera, but you can definitely tell in person. So this is the first application of the foundation. I feel like my face looks a lot more flawless, you know, no discoloration really, but it definitely has a little bit of a glow to it, as you can tell, like on the cheekbones and stuff, but that might disappear when we apply the powder and the concealer and all that kind of thing. So right now, I'm kind of liking the coverage. I think it's really nice, but I'm actually gonna do two coats because I wanna see how buildable it is for you guys who want extra coverage or have a lot of acne scarring or acne or whatever the case is. So, all right, so this is the second coat of foundation, and I feel like from a distance, it doesn't look too much different. Um, I feel like my skin looked, you know, really flawless and stuff like that, but when I look up close at my skin, it definitely has a little bit of a cakey look to it um, because I think it is such a thick foundation. Um, but from far away, I think it actually looks really, really pretty. All right, so I just mattified my skin with the Stay Matte Powder, which is by Rimmel, which is my favorite powder, and then the Erase Paste by Benefit under my eyes and all my problem areas and things like that. So that's what I used over the top, and I actually like it. I feel like this powder uh, like kind of neutralized that pink undertone a little bit, which was good, and I look matte now. Like That shine that I had kind of on my cheeks and things like that is pretty much gone. So we'll see if it kind of stays that way or if you kind of get that glow back. Right now, I actually am really, really liking it, and it looks really good. So I'll let you guys know how it kind of looks by the middle of the day and the end of the day, and yeah, so I'll talk to you guys later. All right, you guys, so it's now about 4.15, and I applied this foundation at, I think, around 10. It was like 10, 10, 15 or so, so it's been quite a while. I'm not even going to try to do the math there, um, but... 
I feel like the foundation is doing okay as far as staying power. It's not horrible, but it's not perfect. Um, I feel like I'm getting a little bit greasy in my T-zone area. You can tell it's a little bit shinier than it was when I first applied. However, it's not horrible. Like this is definitely, um, it looks really good. It doesn't look like I have like really oily, shiny spots. I feel like I could definitely go out without touching up and still feel really confident. So I'm gonna say, so far so good. I'm really, really liking it so far. The staying power is pretty dang good. It'll be interesting to see how it looks in maybe about three or four more hours. I almost feel like I look like I have a little bit of a, like a nice shimmer kind of glow to me rather than like greasy oily, you know what I mean? All right guys, so it's now almost seven o'clock, so it's pretty late, and I'm gonna have to say that the foundation lasted pretty well. I'm not gonna say that I'm not oily in places. I definitely see some shine here, um, a little bit right in here, and my forehead and my chin. Um, I'm not completely matte like it says you, you know, it says an all day wear, which I feel like it's a good all day wear foundation because it's not coming off, because you know how sometimes when you wear foundations that kind of like, it's almost like they spread and like it kind of comes off and gets kind of splotchy in areas. This didn't do that at all. I just feel like um, my oil is showing through. So if you have extremely oil, oily skin, this may not be for you because it would probably be a little bit worse. So I will say that I probably would have touched up my powder at least once today and it probably would have been fine if I would have touched up one time. So I think overall I would give this foundation 4 out of 5 stars. So 4 out of 5 stars I think is pretty good for this foundation. I would definitely recommend it to people. However, I don't think it's up to par with my all-time favorite which is the Rimmel Lasting Finish Foundation. Uh, another thing that might help too is the Scandinavia Finishing Spray. I've been using that all the time, almost every single day, and it really does help your foundation last a lot longer. So I hope this helped you guys, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye!